Um, it was amazing. It was such, such an amazing experience to kind of be part of a Marvel film and just to be in a group of such amazing, diverse, like strong women. And I guess that's kind of why I'm really excited for it to come out, just so it's a great way for young girls to kind of see themselves represented on screen, which is really exciting on such a large scale production. Yes, um, I'll try and elaborate without saying too much, but um, I think I'm mostly really, really excited for it because it's something that was such, I grew up doing and it was such a big part of my childhood that I'm really excited to revisit that part of my life and go back to it. So that would be really, really fun. Well, one of the highlights I'd probably say is the people that I've met and been able to work with. Everyone's been amazing. I've met so many incredible people through both Bachelor and Saigon. Um, just some really good friends and obviously the support that I've had from family and friends I already had. Plus you guys, you guys are amazing. <laughs> um, I don't really think I've had anything particularly negative this year. So it's been, I've, I've been incredibly lucky. It's been a really mad but amazing year. Um, so I started out as a dancer um, back in Hong Kong and I worked a lot with my teacher Giselle, who was also kind of my mentor. And we started doing projects with the Hong Kong Youth Arts Foundation and they have a flagship musical every year. So when I was 15, 15? 15, 15 um, they were doing a production of A Chorus Line, which obviously is quite a dancey show. So between the director Lindsay and um, Giselle and my mum, they were all like, you should go for it, just see what happens if like, they might, like you might get a part. So I did, managed to get a role, um, absolutely fell in love with it, really enjoyed the whole experience and decided I wanted to go to drama school and it's kind of just gone from there. Like just work really damn hard. Um, and aside from that, just surround yourself with people who you love and support you, whether it be family, friends, your agent. <laughs> um, and you will probably have quite a lot of negative energy thrown at you. There's a lot of rejection in the industry, as everyone knows, really. But if you take that and channel it into something that makes you want to prove them wrong, just for yourself, that I found that really helps me. And also get an agent that you love because open communication is super important and it just makes life easier when you know you can rely on them. Um, I've <laughs> have some good lighting equipment because there's been some self tapes that I've had to film at night, just late. I think there was one after I was finishing day of rehearsals for Black Widow when I had to tape for the job I'm currently doing actually. Um, and it was like 10 o'clock at night by the time I got home and it was obviously very dark outside so I had to kind of make shift some of my photography lights and lamps and just kind of figure it out really. Um, so lighting equipment really helps and also spend all your free time, take all the spare moments and kind of really focus on knowing the lines because I find that really helps get it done quickly and don't do too many takes. If you do too many then you get kind of you get too pernickety with yourself and you kind of start overthinking it. So I find it helps to limit yourself to like three to five and be like, cool, that's it. Um, oh, uh, growing up, I always wanted to be a doctor. Um, I just had like a massive fascination with the human body and anatomy and the biological side of everything. And um, strangely enough, my mum talked me out of it. <laughs> She basically said, like, I know you're really interested in it, but I don't think it's a profession you'd be happy in in the long run. So I listened to her and ended up in acting, which <laughs> is very different. But um, if, I'd, if I was doing something else, it'd probably be something in the medical field, so something probably like a physiotherapist or a chiropractor or an osteopath. And if not that, a makeup artist.